Wait at my spot. <laughs> like the attention, girl, I know you. Know you. But you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu. Kung fu. The love I feel is deep inside. The others don't matter. It's honestly us against the world. We're the perfect team. You're my dream, and I just want it. I'm Michael and I'm Courtney and this is Mike and Courtney TV so as you guys would have known in the first video we said that we're gonna do a part two of the question and answer because it was really it was a lot of questions so we decided to break it up in two parts so this is part two and if you want to know why me I wear hats another night and a pullover I'm gonna look real popped out yeah uh, so the no, first question is actually a juicy question I don't even know why these people um ask them question here first question is what was your first night like after be after you became mrs francis <laughs> <Wait. laughs> <laughs> 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 it's too, <laughs> too fast but it was amazing <laughs> when, we were, when we were on our honeymoon we were like little you know, rabbits rabbits we didn't come out of the hotel room at I, all. I don't know why. Wanted to eat, and this was had diarrhea. <laughs> and even in diarrhea, we're still like rabbits. But just know it was the bomb. That just so crummy to a while ago. You didn't have diarrhea though. Yeah, I want, I want, I want the tonight. We get this one. It's two nights. It's one night. Okay. All right. All right. Let's tell the people that they never want to hear that. The people want to hear everything. Everything they want to hear, babe. Next question. Tips for person who are in a long distance relationship. Get out. <laughs> we were in a long distance relationship. Did you get out? <sighs> Guys, with long distance relationship, I feel as though it cannot sustain the amount of arguments and bickering and differences and just the usual nuisances in a relationship. Because guess what? It's not like you're going to see the person tomorrow and you can... I'm sorry about <laughs> yesterday, babe. It's kind of like sometimes when pers when you're away from someone, they say distance makes the heart grow fonder, but sometimes it doesn't. And if you keep fighting, like everything, ha if everything is a constant battle and fight and bickering, it really puts a strain on the relationship. So I would say for persons who are in a long like long distance relationship, communicate frequently. Um, make sure that the person that you're in the long distance relationship actually wants to be in it. That it's not a one sided thing. Because one and can't clap. Make sure that both both of you guys are actually agreeing to this long term um, thing. Um, communicate often, pray together. Let's do everything together. If you if the person wants you clingy, so be it. Maybe clingy bad. Let me tell you from a male's perspective. All right, you see, um, women tend to overreach in um, long distance relationships because. <laughs> I feel like because um they, they they they're trying to make up for the for the distance. So sometimes remember that the other person has a life of their own. Are you actually work on me? This is a give sound advice. Okay. And you know, like so every Friday night you can go snuggle up and and, and talk to you. You you want to throw the tub then, you know? Why you giving advice that you would never do? I find him always sweet and you always give advice that you would never ever take. You never they never go with no tough suits. What do you mean? And you, when? Of course we touch really tough suits. When? I remember. This question, I think I answered that question. How many businesses do you have, Mike, and how do you juggle? That's actually a really cool question. The fact that today I actually temporarily closed on one of my baby companies. It's not really sad, it's just that, I mean, we have to understand that sometimes things are seasonal and it's just, it's just not the season for it right now. I'm focusing on her natural hair care and I'm putting a lot of energy and effort into building that business and, in, and building that brand. So I find that the other company is kind of struggling and I just don't have the time. So instead of making it suffer and wasting a lot of money, capital, you know, no, I just decided to just kind of have a sale. But, it is what it is. I just kind of had to let go, let God, and just know, say, 
it was just not the season. Maybe in the future I will um, return. And everybody knows that uh, over here you DM for supplements <laughs> at Vain Fitness. Yes. And you know, you can check out CACC Photography. So that's a two companies for me, you know what I mean? So don't forget to DM for supplements. Supplement. I think that's your official tagline. Yeah, man, see, it should be see, very finished. So we are selling some things here. Oh is it, my is god! This is called product placement. Why did those go there? Oh my Jesus Christ! Yeah, man. Why did those go there? I don't, I don't know. They're working with me. They're working Jesus with me. Jesus Christ! So DM for supplements. Who taught you how to do hair? I'm self-taught. Your chum. Nothing. No, you should never when we live a country. I'm from country, my life for the hair. Where did you grow up, country? St. Thomas. St. Thomas. That's the obvious. Yeah. Why do you keep on telling people something obvious? Yeah, man. She tied me. She go for some aisle. I'm going to find myself a buyer. <laughs> Stop the lie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get um, How did my mind to pay two hefty school fees regarding medicine without a student loan? Hard work. It's in a country girl, yeah. A country girl that run things, you know. You have to know for work hard. It's if I don't get a country girl, you don't have a woman. You need to put her back. So you think. But truthfully, so I. I'm uptown work. friends, them. <laughs> she don't mean that. She's talking <laughs> gibberish. Guys, I really. I worked, I worked my butt off, I'm not lying. It's a like, help her. Go for it, yes, go. They don't get help. Get from you? Where is it? Yes. Were you sugar daddy? No, but we need help. Where you want me to be everything? <laughs> what the hell are they? Listen to me. First of all, I met you in my what? Third year? Third year? That was three years going. And then we became husband and wife. You know, I tried to chip in. But that was nice of you. Don't even look like you in the bucket. <laughs> People, I'm very resourceful. <laughs> I stay at Jamaica and look for scholarship. Oh my overseas. god, I care. When, when you're studying in Trinidad, when I was studying, the government used to, um, they basically subsidized it by 85%. So we only had to pay 50%, 15% and pay our, um, you know, rent, food, books, that kind of stuff. So um, every summer I worked, even during school I was working. Um, in my last years, I couldn't work as much, but I did try to work. I was working at a coffee shop, Rituals Coffee, there's one in Jamaica and i was working on a weekend and my boss my bosses were really cool like they loved me so much they gave me like additional hours like all the time i wonder why and, because i was like cool okay. so i really did I, I just never cool. wanted to people cool and i said they cool Micah. i was like cool I, I i trust me guys if you are a person and it's like you get really good grades you can get um monetary incentives you can apply for little grants which coordinate research all the way in Jamaica and I didn't even know about those grants and, and in the negative I'm like, not get it and those grants were like most of Trinidadian persons were getting those so now like if you are in a program that like so and those programs that offer you a lot of time to work and study I would recommend working and studying and then you have the you know the J1 study what I'll say is um just know that especially at the University of the West Indies they send back a lot of scholarships come out and they are not claimed um and remember when i was in college well is is a senior one did come up and tell a story where he applied for mostly a med sci um <clears throat> scholarship and he was in so and he still got it because nobody else applied for it because a lot of times people are like me not get it me not get it so they don't apply um, get into the habit of applying for things that you want, even if you feel like you're not going to get it, just apply for it. Once in a while, cost you nothing, just apply for it. You never know. True. Um, next question um, Why did you choose that line of work? There's a lot of questions to people. Eh? I chose that line of work because it kind of chose me, honestly. Um, as Lord I said, God. I grew Lord up, God. it kind of chose me. I grew oh, up in St. Thomas. Yeah, I grew up in St. Thomas it. and I was. Like basically my life was a whole farmland. You forget so my grandmother owned heads and heads of cattle. Almost every year there was a new born cattle a calf. And you know what I'm calling it Mishka, because everybody in country called Mishka. So every single year you have a cow called Mishka since we like baby like this. So like the last time my grandmother died like when I was 14, you always have a cow named Mishka. So it's just like and guess what? That cow was like the most prolific cow ever. Like five liters of milk like each gallon oh of milk each oh and the teeth were like you mongos so yeah 
relationship. She was always the best milk provider. But anyways, yeah. Oh so it was like always. I was just like a farm girl. And when I left, um, when I left high school, I wanted to go to UWE, but at the time it was too expensive. So I ended up going to Keys to study um to become a teacher. And then I, I, I did one year of teaching, and I was like, mm -mm, this is not gonna work out. And I was teaching the science and Spanish. I'm like, no, 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 this is not gonna work. But cannot be. Like most of the students were like my size, and all the things that them like me and them are qualms. And I was like, mm mm, no, that so no. So I was like, what am I going to do? Because there's no way I can continue into teaching. And teaching was supposed to be a stepping stone to become a doctor. And honestly, it didn't matter to me. It didn't matter what kind of doctor I was. If I was a, 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 um, a human doctor or a dentist or a veterinarian, I just. But for me, I don't really like dealing with people so much. Currently, can I say similarly? Uh, you know, I prefer animals. <laughs> yeah, I like animals more than people. Yeah, people are funny. You know, animals are not funny. So I decided to do. Um, so apply do I talk about <laughs> animal and I touch touch me? Do I call you? <laughs> So I decided to apply for veterinary medicine in Trinidad and um, also the fact and the fact financial uh, the financial part of it was very important because when I was applying for um, university in Trinidad I realized that the government was subsidizing and I was like hell yeah next question <laughs> this is a funny question. Courtney seems tall-ish. So when you feel, when you wear heels, does he feel extra small? If me seem tall-ish, why would I feel extra small when she wear heels? No, 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 I... sorry. She said I seem tall-ish. Oh, and the fact that oh, you are short, not... if I, when I wear heels, one she not tall. I'm not tall. Not a one. I'm like, like, I'm like five four. You're like one one inch above me, or two. I, I, I'm not five five. Five, five seven. Eight. All right. I was five, five seven. Eight. No, no, no. Five, five, and five, eight. Two different. Okay, sir. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, no problem. Somebody asked if I feel insecure about my height. Why would I feel insecure? Maybe she want to say weight. Uh, no, I don't feel insecure about my weight. I feel like my little weight. My punch is my punch. I like it. Don't get it for on in on the camera now. You love the feel of my punch. You love the feel of my little flesh. Only when I work, oh, you know, only time I bother him. I want to on the beach and he's like, suck it in. Or Michael, seriously. And me, I said, no, you have to get the uncles them to know. Why do I need to go to the gym? Jesus, peace. You black girls are very good meat, you know? Exactly. No, I'm to bother this year. Next question. How hard was it finding a house for sale here in Jamaica? It never hard. It, it was, was hard. It was, it it was hard, babe. We were we had our money in a different housing. It never hard. We, 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 we found it. Oh, it yeah, never hard. And then the minute we decide say yo that 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 lot them other people that joke with the thing, we pull it yeah. and we found one right away. No. I hard. kinda have to always make sure say get like link up with some of them developer, yeah. Call up them phone probably. Stress them out, bother them. I mean, all right, them. if if you if you're looking for a new housing development, hmm. um, just like when you go buy sneakers, you know you know buying a trias brand, you know you want a brand well proven, um, so I would have say go for a a, a Wiccan, a Gore, hmm. one of those names that has several communities behind them, so. When, when 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 you see a new development, check how many developments they have done before, and you can drive by the other developments and see how they they keeping up. You know, the problem with this brother here, because he's crossed the road, is that he has several failed projects behind his name. If I had done a little research, you know, would I realize say, um, that's not the way to go. A lot of questions here about my job, boys. I can do a video talking about veterinary. You know what? I'm gonna do a video talking about it. Entering vet school, how it was, what are the requirements. I am going to do a video about that because there's a lot of questions here like how many years, what are the requirements. Somebody asked me about vaccine stuff. Okay, let me quickly answer that. Your puppy starts getting vaccine at six weeks old and they get four consecutive vaccines three weeks apart. So when your puppy is about 16 weeks old, you should be fully vaccinated. And you were, and then at it, you want to start your heart for prevention. You still have to vaccinate a mongrel, babe. Uh, when I get to have vaccinated, <laughs> I want to blow. 
that is scary. <laughs> Invest in a mongrel. Make sure you mix up right up. Mm -hmm. make, you mix, make sure you mix right up. Okay. Except for young persons to save. May I leave that one in your course? Save? For young people to save. Mr. Skirmish, <laughs> take the floor. Yo, alright. In, in a saving arena, um, it is good to start making a budget. Because um, without a budget, you don't really... You don't really have a, a, a guide to tell you when you're stepping out of bounds. So first thing, make a budget and start to cut back on, on unnecessary stuff like, I mean, well, now when you're up now, so you can't go out for floss, you have to stay mm -hmm. in. Um, but you when the place home back up and every, and every Friday, you need to go at the club, go buy the same bottle of liquor for three, four times the price. So if you just go in a supermarket, you could have picked up that bottle for five grand versus twenty grand at the club. And yeah, That's what know. yeah man, the, the, the markup is ridiculous. So I've heard. That they, they, they're not getting my money like okay, that. Me like that. So mm -hmm. what, what you have to do is some some Fridays, you and your real friend them. Uh, your real friend them we just chill. The, your real friend them not go nowhere with you. Can't just sit on your, and every time you have to go out. Some 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 weekends you just have to kick back yeah. with your friends. Buy the alcohol in the supermarket where you get the cheap and drink it at your yard. Yeah, and prior yeah. to rise, make a list of stuff that you need. And if, it, if it's not on the list, you just don't need it. If it pops up and you're like, oh crap, I need that, then fine. Yeah. But make, you have to prioritize and, what, and, what's and more important. One, one, one of the things that I, 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 I did early, early up was um, my final amount that I was comfortable with. And I did a statutory deduction with with um with my bank. So each month it just take it out of my account and put it in a in a long term savings. So that's one of the things that you could do. I don't when I when I say long term savings, maybe you go, you want to have it for years, but make sure it's something that you can touch um after a few months without any penalties. Because trust me, um Sometimes times get hard and you're trying to withdraw some money where you did set for 10 years and the penalty are 50% because you are 32 early. So I don't, I never suggest those, um, those long-term savings with, with those harsh penalties. So Next question, how old are you guys? Really? 30, you old, 30, 30. I know I look it's... young. I know I look young. Yeah, I'm not, a sh I'm not afraid of sharing my age. I'm 29. Sure, you don't know what 29, you know what 40? Let me tell you what 40 here. Next question. What's the best type of dog to get someone with asthma? Mongrel. Mm -hmm. in no, can sleep no just any dog that has short hair. It that have long ear. Yo, look at the job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a chihuahua is perfect for somebody who has asthma. Mongrel. <laughs> Chihuahua has to um, stay inside. Mongrel can stay outside in the rain and don't get sick. Oh, gosh. Courtney, you're something else. How do you balance everything with sex? Not too tired of, not too tired to have sex sometimes. This is why we're always away from YouTube because every, every minute I'm tired. I'm tired all the time. I'm tired all the time. Seriously. So to balance work and everything and the YouTube and have sex drive and maintain your marriage, boy, it's like one thing have to sacrifice. And I guess we just choose to sacrifice. <laughs> we're sorry, we're sorry, guys. We're sorry. We're not mean for just sacrificing and just. Don't show none any love and attention. We're gonna do better. So, so now some some thing for stronger, man. Really feel. I'm not. I'm not saying all time. Why are you putting it on there to make it look like some pop down? I'm yeah, never saying pop down. I'm say you're tired sometimes. Okay, but do I I still do my job? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you don't clock in. I don't sometimes I clock in and do overtime. Don't. I try to make up. Okay. <laughs> What is the one thing that you should share with somebody who has intention to start a business? Just start. Stop procrastinating. Just start. It doesn't have to be big. Just start. You know, so just what you mean, thought, what is, all right. You see, a lot of times when we're we are starting starting up, we have this misconception that everything must be perfect. And in the first year, we must look like you know a big established company like Sachi or Dipsel. No. Um, a lot of small businesses are going to require you to be the CEO or the janitor 
the salesperson, the delivery man, and you have to be willing to do the dirty work. One, don't be ashamed of your hustle. Um, don't be af two, don't be afraid to start and make sure you invest both time and money in your business. What if we, as the business start making little money, we want to buy a car and we not put back the money in the business. Um, we're also not upgrading ourselves. We're not learning anything new. So if, you, if, if your business is service oriented, for example, here, you have to keep up with the trends. They can't stuck at the one style and when that style fails out, you lose your customer because you can't keep up. You get me? So learn new tricks, buy new equipment and keep trying to better both the business and yourself. Done. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, so the, the, the other questions were, a lot of questions were about business and stuff. And I feel like we do, by answering one question, we kind of tap into other questions. Yeah. So I'm going to end it here by answering this one last question. How did I lose my wedding ring? I <laughs> <laughs> like no too. I told you. I like no. I like no again. I was so sad, guys. So how I lost it, I was actually doing a surgery. I was doing a castration. And, you know, when you surgery, you have to take off all jewelry, scrubbing and stuff. And I put the ring in my pocket. And I forgot to put my ring on my finger. And like, by the time I reached home, I was like, searching my pocket. No, I wasn't searching for the ring. The next day, I was like, oh crap, where's my ring? Because I went to put it on before I went to work the next day. And I was like, oh, I had it in my scrub pocket. So I know the dirty clothes being gone, look so ring. Not a ring. I was so in denial, like two days straight, my half friend, because dirty clothes basket, I looked for the ring because I said, must drop out somewhere. <laughs> and I couldn't find it. Better, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Courtney, you see, look what helped me, so look, tired. look at your eyes. Look at that. I'd be working. But I will right, get the jerk right, chicken. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you smash the like button. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, guys, because you know we really are really gonna try. But yeah, we're putting some overtime, you know. Yeah, I'm never go up. It's cement and I'm gonna have my life hard. Look no, I'm the best on YouTube. Never go up here to clock in. Yeah, I'm gonna clock in. Clock right in. Yes, I'm not clock in now, fucker. NI people. Bye guys. Subscribe. Yeah man. We love you. Yeah man. I'm, 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 I'm really like a track more consistent. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my bottom I hurt me. You give me the worst spot for the thing. Must my leg dead and I get nothing.